In November of 2022, the Vatican participated in the Climate Change Summit of the United Nations in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt. Before 2050. Secretary of State Cardinal Pietro Parolin represented the Holy See at the event. The Vatican had already officially joined the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, vowing to cut its greenhouse gas emissions. In his address to world leaders, the Cardinal reminded the audience of Pope Francis's public commitment made last September. By 2050, the Vatican will produce zero greenhouse emissions. The movie The Letter is based on Pope Francis's encyclical Laudato Si, which addresses global warming. Cardinal Raniero Cantalamesa appears in this film. He's been the preacher of the pontifical household for more than 40 years. Every week, the Pope comes to hear his sermons during Advent and Lent. In a rare interview, he exclusively explains why care for creation is so important. I have, have been doing that for the last 42 years. I started with John Paul II. Every Friday morning, the Pope will come and listen. When I heard that his name was now Francis, I was shocked. And I said to myself, something new is beginning for the Catholic Church. And I must say that after eight or nine years, my uh, opinion has not changed, it has increased. Francis is a, a name God chooses for him. The poor and creation are defenseless. This is why God entrusted creation to people made in his likeness, because they can uh, work for good. I think this is why a religious dimension is essential for ecology. We need to have a transcendent reason to care for creation, and this transcendent reason is that the creation it doesn't belong to us. We have received it. We are not bosses, we are not owners of, of nature. Till recently, there were people who pretended that nothing was really happening. I think the, the recent uh, meteorological events should have convinced everybody that we are in, in a bad shape. Rich people can move from one place to another when uh, there is uh, some problem. Huh? But the poor can't. Laudato si, mi signore, per frate sole. Well, Francis is one of these people to whom St. Francis has entrusted this candidate. Laudato Si is addressed to the Catholic Church, but also to the other churches, to humankind, and gives advice to every human person. Submission to the Word of God, really, this is how I see the things. These thoughts will also be leading the way in another big conference from December the 7th to the 19th in Montreal, Canada, in which the Vatican will participate for the first time, an event on the UN Convention on Biodiversity.